New research shows Indiana had one of the highest eviction rates nationwide, both before and during the pandemic. CBS 4's Kristen Eskow spoke with state officials about what's being done now to keep Hoosiers in their homes. Well, Debbie and Bob, this new data comes from the Eviction Research Network, which is based at the University of California at Berkeley. Despite the roughly year-long national eviction moratorium last year, evictions in Indiana didn't drop off very much, especially compared to other states. I feel like each and every one of us should be given a chance to have housing that we can afford. Julie Steed was out of work for six months last year as she battled COVID-19 and cancer. She fell behind on rent and qualified for emergency rental assistance from the state. But she says as she waited for the funds to arrive, she was evicted in November. It was just one thing after another, and now I have an eviction on my record, so I can't move. Steed was able to get back into her home, but she certainly isn't alone. Data compiled by the Eviction Research Network at the University of California at Berkeley shows Indiana's eviction rate was slightly above the historic average before the pandemic. It dropped significantly during the first few months of the pandemic, but then spiked by summer of 2020. Rihanna Bender of the State Housing Authority acknowledged Indiana's higher eviction rates. I don't think there's any one factor that explains that. This is a condition that predates the pandemic. And this has been an ongoing issue that we've had in the state of Indiana. Binder says the state has been focused on working to expand legal and advising services available to tenants. I think to reduce evictions and to keep folks in their home, we will need both landlords and tenants that are taking that are using the available tools, whether that is the eviction deferral program or the low cost mediation option that is currently available through the courts. The issue is also on the radar of lawmakers. Earlier this year, they created a bipartisan housing task force to study the issue and create a report with recommendations. State Senator Fadi Kadora is one of the group's members. I'm cautiously optimistic because the committee exists. So that tells me that there's some interest in addressing these issues. The Housing Task Force has one more meeting scheduled later this month. Then the group will issue its report before the new legislative session starts in January. Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. All right, Kristen, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Kristen. Let's